<laughs> you got this little buddy. Go get him. Okay, I know just what to do. Almost there. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Evan, and as promised, I'm back with all of the LEGO Avengers Endgame sets. We've got the Avengers Compound Battle, Iron Man Hall of Armor, Captain America Outriders Attack, Avengers Ultimate Quinjet, the War Machine Buster, and this guy, Iron Man and Dummy. Today, I'm going to be building the Avengers Compound Battle, but for the rest of these, I'm going to need some help. So, let's bring in the team. All right, so um, I'm building the compound battle and the war machine buster. I'm gonna get this bad boy right here, the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. Okay, so what are you picking out? I'm going to have this one, the Iron Man Hall of Armor. Well, since you're building that, take this. Ooh. Iron Man and dummy. I'll take the baby set. Okay. All right, guys, get building. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. Yeah. Woo! All right. Let's start building compound battle. It's set 76131. It's for ages eight and up, and it has 699 pieces. The Avengers Quinjet actually has more pieces, but this is the most expensive set. The set has four minifigures, two big figs, and one nano figure. We're building this set before we see the movie, so if you get any facts wrong, don't blame us. No spoilers in the comments, please, until like, a year after. We can already see some spoilers here though because of Hulk's outfit, it's Professor Hulk. And I also noticed Thanos only has two Infinity Stones. So here's a look at the back. It shows some of the play features like the gun shooting and the laser cannon. So let's open this up and show you guys what's inside. So it looks like we've got Thanos, bag two, some extra pieces, bag one, bag six, the stickers and instructions, bag Hulk, bag three, bag five, and finally, bag four. Okay, let's build the compound. Okay, so here's the completed Avengers compound battle. First, let's take a look at these guys. First, we have the Outrider. So this guy is in all black, and on the back of him, he has four arms that are coming out. It has a giant mouth. It's got some pretty cool printing on the head, and there's some cool printing on the body as well. It looks like he has some muscles. <laughs> and the arms stick on sort of like a backpack. Next, we have Nebula. Nebula is in her quantum suit, and she has a giant katana that is silver. It's pretty cool. She has details actually on the back of her head too, just like metal wires and robotic pieces. And her face looks not too happy. I think we're gonna see a lot of these same minifigure bodies in the sets. Here we have Iron Man. Uh, this minifigure is actually really cool. He's in his gold and red suit. His arms are actually gold and he's wearing some red gloves. And of course he has the classic Iron Man helmet. On the bottom he has two blue transparent pieces that make it look like he's like boosting up flying. But the gold on his pants doesn't really match the gold arms. This one actually has Tony Stark's face underneath, um, unlike the one in the Hulkbuster. But another cool thing is he has another face and it's him like, you know, with his screen out. And he has these two little pieces on both of his hands and you can flick them to make them shoot. Next, we have Captain Marvel and this one is pretty crazy. She's literally blasting off from flames on her feet, which is pretty cool. And she's on a stand so she doesn't obviously fall over. It looks like she's spraying fire from her hands because she's holding on to like, the little fire pieces, which is pretty cool, both different sizes. So looking at the torso, you can already see there's some printing on the front and back. There's no printing on the arms or the legs, which kind of makes it a little plain looking. Her hair is not blonde, and I think it's just recycled Black Widow hair. So she has a happy face and then just like an emotionless expression. So here we have Hulk. Um, he doesn't have a shirt on and he has his blue jeans on. Not much to say, I mean he has a six pack so you can go Hulk. Usually when you see Hulk he's all rage, but he has a calm face, which kind of suggests that he is Professor Hulk. You can move his arms all the way around. With all these big figs, their legs are not posable. All right, next we have Ant-Man. Kind of hard to talk about him since he's a nano figure. 
and all the details are so small. You can tell that he's wearing his quantum suit and that he has his Ant-Man helmet on. That's literally all you can really say about him. And you definitely can't pose any part of him. But you do get two in case you lose one. Finally, we have the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. He has his giant hammer right here, which looks pretty cool. He actually has some printing on his arms and he also has his gold helmet on, gold shoulder pads, and the rest of his body is just gray, but it has some gold printing on there as well. The shoulder pads prevent Thanos' arms from moving all around. So they can't go all the way up and they can't go all the way down. He's actually smiling, so I think he's gonna win this fight. You can take off his hand and then put on the Infinity Gauntlet, which we'll show you in a bit. So that was a look at the minifigures. Now let's take a look at the rest of the set. So first off, we have this little car right here. It is all pretty much blue and gray. It has a clear glass windshield with a seat, so you can sit one person there. Inside, there's a steering wheel. This car actually doesn't have a roof, and the doors of the cars have the Avengers logo on them, but they don't open. On the front, there's some yellow headlights, and on the back, there's some red ones with a license plate that reads GW15694. There are two stud shooters, and there's a sticker there, and it's kind of like a control panel for them. There's a lot of stud shooters in this set, so prepare to lose a lot of studs. The thing is, there's something preventing the gun from going all the way down, so what we have to do is kind of angle the car like this to shoot Thanos. Here we go. Let's try another one. Oh, deflection. So as you guys can see, um, they can't really kill Thanos with a gun, so you worthless little boy. Okay, so the next vehicle we have is this cool helicopter. It has a cockpit right here that can sit a minifigure. So since Nebula was driving it in the picture, let's just put it in there again. This helicopter is nicely ventilated. There's no windows on the sides. On the front here, we have a six stud cannon, and when you turn it, it shoots. Ooh. Boom. And like I said before, you're gonna lose a lot of studs. So on the side here, we have a fire extinguisher. And on this other side, we have another one of Nebula's katanas. On the back, we have these four little um, triangular pieces that kind of look like an X-wing wing. Um, there's a red light on the back and there's also the Avengers logo. So on the top, we have this giant propeller that can spin around. It also has some red lights on the side. So there you go. And the blades can also go up like this. All right, some pretty cool stuff. On the compact. So this is basically just a parking spot for the vehicles I showed you, but there are some cool details. So right here at the front is where the garage is. And of course we have a little gate here because you know, we gotta be safe. You can push it up like this and there's a little stopper that will stop it. And there's also some orange lights right here. And right here we have this orange little laser cannon thing. We also have a bunch of stud shooters off the top. The thing about the stud shooters is that you cannot shoot up that things in the sky. They only got this tall, so there's a giant bird coming down. Can't shoot it. There's like a little stud piece right here. You can just bring it up like that, and then the car can come through. So the car just rolls in like this. And on the top right here, there's a helipad that has the Avengers logo on it. All right, so let's land the helicopter. Pretty secure in there. Right here, there is a little door entrance. And right here, there's some utilities. It looks like there's a chainsaw, crowbar, a wrench, and one of those little things that you use for your cars. You can open the door like this. So right here, there's a keypad and then a door that you can open up. And that brings us to the other side, which holds the Infinity Gauntlet. I think that's kind of a spoiler. Um, they got the Infinity Gauntlet back somehow. So I don't know how they got the Infinity Gauntlet, but somehow they have it in their HQ. Um, it's kind of like under protection from these lasers right here. There's a computer as well that has a keyboard and then a little screen with the gauntlet on it. There's two ways to get the gauntlet out. The first one is to burn your fingers off and open it like that. And then you can, you can just take it. The other way is you can pull it straight out like this. And it just clips in with a single little piece. So here's the gauntlet. It only has two stones, which are power and time. Um, so Thanos has to make a sacrifice to get the gauntlet on. He has to rip off his arm. Oh no! Help, I need another arm. Oh. So I better put the gauntlet back in here for safekeeping. There we go. Slide right back in. Right here, we have a table with some glasses there. I don't know what they're drinking, but hopefully it's good. You got the Avengers logo right there in the middle and then three seats for people to sit on. But the question is, how do you get into the room? Well, let me tell you. So right here, we have a bridge connecting the two buildings. So let's put Iron Man on these two studs back here. And it goes into the room like this. So right here, all our friends are having a party while all their friends are dead, you know, just drinking away with their sorrows. 
And there's also a screen with the Outrider on it, so maybe they're analyzing it. On the side, there's an Avengers logo. So here's a spring-loaded shooter that we've seen in like Star Wars sets. And there's like these little ventilation thingies here. So it looks like the Outriders are attacking, so what they need to do is take off the tabletop to reveal all the guns. So here's Nebula versus the Outrider. Got him. Hey, what'd you do with my Outrider? Uh, I, just, I just blasted it. Oh, I'm gonna blast you too. Oh no, Nebula's down. Hulk mad, why you kill Nebula? Come down here. Well, if you insist. Hey, purple guy, look up here. Huh? Oh, 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 that's very cute. You got a gun? Maybe if I try one more. Uh-oh. Ah! Hey, big guy, take this. Oh. Oh, I've got an idea. You got this little buddy. Go get him. Okay, I know just what to do. Almost there. <laughs> oh, what's this? I don't think so. Okay guys, so that was a look at the LEGO Avengers Compound Battle. Really cool set, I liked it. And if you guys liked it, make sure to stay tuned because we got plenty more Endgame sets coming up. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.